Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about price to earnings ratios. In particular, I'm going to look at Tesla's future price to earnings ratio and its trailing price to earnings ratio and show you how you can calculate that. So if you invest in stocks or have an interest in, in following them, then a price to earnings ratio can be useful to you in assessing the value of a stock and also comparing it to other similar stocks. So this is a chart that summarizes um, the trailing and the future PE ratios, but I'm going to show you how to calculate these manually. So this this is the type of data you can get from from Yahoo Finance easily. Just go to the Yahoo Finance page for for Tesla, and you'll find um, the trailing and future earnings numbers. And to calculate the trailing and future earnings, all you really need to know is the stock price and the earnings per share of a company. So one website I like to go to is Morningstar.com because that's got um, a, a company's financials all conveniently there. And so you'll notice on Tesla's page, you know, it shows an earnings per share. TTM means trailing 12 months. So that's for the past 12 months up until now. And so Tesla's diluted earnings per share is 3.08. Okay, so that's the number I'm going to use when I'm going to enter in a trailing EPS. I'm going to type in 3.08. Now, to calculate the price to earnings ratio, that's really just the calculation that takes the price divided by the EPS. So the current price for Tesla as of the end of last week was $1,017. So to calculate the price to earnings ratio, all I'm doing here is taking the price divided by the earnings per share, which tells me it's at a multiple of 330.19. Okay, so that's a, that's a fairly high price to earnings multiple. Okay, what I'm going to look at next is the future earnings. And a good place to get the, the future earnings is if you go to yahoo.com and if I look up Tesla's Tesla's ticker on there, there's gonna be, again, some more information. If I go under the analysis section, it's gonna show me earnings estimates. So this is what analysts think over the next um, next quarter, next year, what the company's earnings per share is gonna be. So we can see this average estimate is gonna be the one that we're gonna use, $8.19. Okay, so that's gonna be our our future EPS that, uh, that that we're saying analysts expect it to, to be. And so now to calculate the, the, the forward or the future price to earnings ratio, all we're taking again is the price divided by that EPS number. And that tells us, you know, it's gonna be 124.18. It's still relatively high. A lot of companies like Amazon trade around 60, uh, maybe 70 times earnings if they're really expensive. So 120 is still uh, extremely high for Tesla, but investors are, are willing to pay a premium for a company that's still in its early, early growth stages. And so we can um, spot check these numbers if we go under still on the Yahoo Finance page. If I go under statistics, you'll see we've got a trailing PE 330.20, so fairly close, this could be a rounding issue. The forward PE, also known as the future PE, is about 121.95. So again, these could be rounding calculations. I'm not sure exactly what price um, they took in these calculations, but we're, we're safe to say we're in the we're in the ballpark, right? So that's, that's a quick snapshot of how you could calculate um, these different earnings multiples. So you can just, um, if you want to confirm um, the data that, that Yahoo's using, or if you just want to do it yourself to, to calculate it, you can do that just by going to a site like Morningstar, pulling the, the trailing earnings. And Yahoo Finance is also going to have that as well. So we've got um, we've got the diluted EPS 3.06, we've got 3.08. So it's it's pretty similar depending on what source you go to, you might see some slight variations, but again, as long as you're within that same range, you know, whether it's a price to earnings multiple of 330 versus 318, I don't think that's gonna really make that much of a difference. And so, you know, if you wanted to plot these on a chart in Excel, what you could do is, you know, just use a simple column chart. And what I did in my previous, in my uh, initial chart at the beginning of the video, 
what I did is select to change the series type just so I had um, the the PE multiple on sort of range and on a secondary axis and just modify the colors added in the Tesla logo and there you've got a nice sort of uh, chart showing you the difference but um, uh, the key point of this video was really just to show you how you can calculate the, the PE ratios and you know one of the cool things that you can you can gauge just by looking at these ratios is figuring out you know what sort of growth rate analysts are expecting so for example if we have this trailing price earnings ratio of 330 divide that by the future price earnings ratio then we know that analysts expect that um, Tesla's profits are, if I do a minus one Tesla's profits are going to rise by 166 percent over the next year according to their um, estimates right so just by looking at the two PE numbers you can you can figure out okay do analysts think that the company's earnings are going to go up or are they going to go down so if this price to earnings multiple you know decreases as is the case here then that means that the the earnings are going to going to rise or at least they're expecting to because really the the price in that in that equation is staying the same regardless of what we're looking at uh, uh, the trailing 12 months or the future so the only thing that's going to change is that earnings number so if the PE ratio drops when we're looking at the future number then that means analysts are expecting um, profits to increase and again a quick way to see by how much is you know you can take you know the the trail to the trailing PE divided by the future PE and then minus one for that percent change right so if we've got 3.08 times you know 2.66 which includes the current amount plus the growth then we get to 8.19 that that future um future eps number so that's a quick way you can sort of uh, do do a gauge just to see you know how much growth analysts are expecting over the next uh over the next 12 months